Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and it's a fine day at the adult establishment that I uh, allegedly own, ladies and gentlemen. The lights are green because today is the day of Cash App Friday. Now, Fridays are, are holy days for, for, for Muslims out there, but they're also great days for people who want to get some of that free money. Oh, you heard free money? Well, let's get into it. Now, Cash App, for those of you who know, uh, it's, it's a totally legitimate application. I'm, 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 not, I'm not against it, but uh, there's definitely a lot, of, a lot of cancer scams that exist on that, on that platform. And Twitter is one hive of degeneracy that has this. Now, if you go to Twitter and you search hashtag Cash App Friday, you come across uh, you come across some fucking glorious tweets, all right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not here to sit down and tell you what's what's real and what isn't, but we're gonna do we're gonna do a little bit of an investigation on the Cash App Friday world. I'm kind of getting a calculator ready. You'll know why. Now, this is by one account that says, "Who is in need of money? Uh, everyone in the world needs needs fucking money, but you know." Who's in need? Uh, the first 400 people to follow this account and comment on this will receive 250 to 800 through Cash App or Zelle or whatever service they have. Now, I'm just gonna do the quick math. On the high end of $800, you would have to have $320,000 to give away. By giving away just the bare minimum 250, you'd have to have around 100,000 US. So this is in fact over a quarter million dollars on one fucking tweet that happened less than a day ago. Uh, I'm just gonna be real with you. I think it's some bullshit, but oh, don't believe me. Let's go down a little further. Are you low on cash, need money for books, or backed up on bills? I have four grand for four to five people, $1,000 per person. Oh, $1,000? Now, if you go down, you can see that they've got six retweets, seven dislikes. You already fucked up. You've got a problem here. You've, you, you now have more mouths to feed than you are possibly able to do, okay? This is, this is one of those many problems. Now, it's at this point that you go down to these accounts that just completely bullshit up the entire situation. Sending a blessing to the first 700 people for that retweet and drop their Cash App name. Now, they, they give you the first uh, icon, $1,725 has been deposited. Now, if you take the math and, and just simply do, uh, what is it, like 700 uh, human beings and you give them $1,725 each, you're looking at about $1.2 million. But I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, clearly this legitimate PayPal account has nearly half a billion US sitting in the account. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to tell you, if you have half a billion dollars sitting in your PayPal account, you're either Jeff fucking Bezos, or uh, you, you have no idea what kind of a risk versus reward game you're playing, and brother, there ain't much reward in that shit either. Uh, people who usually have half a billion dollars don't even have it in a savings account that's usually in like stocks and equities and shit like that. But hey, who am I to know? You know, I mean, I mean I'm, not, I'm not, I'm obviously not this half a billion dollar financial genius giving a $1.2 million payday over one tweet. One tweet! But you know, there's a lot of replies in the comments over here too, and it's just people who want to give their Cash App or PayPal account. And the reality is, the problem that I got with this personally is that they're preying on individuals that like need rent money and all that shit. So these individuals get into line to give their account information away to somebody who will never give them the money! Okay, you will not get 1725. Go right now, make a fake ass Twitter account, make a fake ass Cash App, go to any one of these, toss your information in, and if you get any money, okay, I will donate my testes to research, okay? I'm willing to bet my balls that hard. My huervos are on the goddamn line. Disclaimer, maybe not, okay? Maybe you might get that one lucky person, okay? Maybe, you're, maybe your experience may be different. But you know what, 99% of people, you will not get the money. Let's be real here. Oh, that's even great. I will be sending a grand to six grand. That's a big discrepancy right there to the first 450 people to like and retweet this. 450 people, again, these are always like the same like like requirements that they have. It's like a fucking 3 a.m. channel with this shit. But this person has $4.2 million in a PayPal account, all right? You can tell how bullshit this kind of is because if you open this up real quickly, you can actually see that uh, the USD on PayPal is so horribly edited and photoshopped that uh, I'm surprised Twitter automatic scams haven't picked this bullshit up to begin with.
I promise to pay all your bills. I want to be your sugar daddy. Ooh, hashtag sugar daddy needed. Okay, so this is like if you want to be like a sugar mom cash slave. This is when you get into like the weird fetishes. Uh, but this is like, hey, uh, you got you got rent money? Ooh, you want, you want me to be your sugar mommy? This may probably be the most legitimate thing out there, but I don't think you'd be on Twitter going about it. But here they add extra stuff. Like uh, they, they, add a, they add a lot of these like a generic apps, iPhone like response messages. Like, wow, miss, I can't believe this thousand dollars will really help. Thanks a lot, mom. Thanks a lot, mom. I just got it. Yeah, I'm sure you did. They all magically came right at that second too, by the way. It's crazy how they, all the texts just flew right in one after the other. Everyone was just on the same fucking wavelength right there. Now you have this amazing, amazing like uh, scam over here where you're flipping money on Cash App somehow. And you've got all these individuals who toss Fortnite, Fortnite time, Star Wars, 2K community, 2K accounts. Yeah, let's target all the people with fucking microtransaction gambling addictions. Let's turn $40 to 400, 60 to 600, 100 to 1000, Apple Pay flips even. 50 to 620, 70 to 815, 100 to 1150. Yeah, man, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a troglodyte, dude. I'm just immediately believing in all of this. <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now in a situation where it is so fucking unbelievable, I don't have words for it. Now this is, I'm not gonna detail the account or anything, but I just wanna throw this image up here. That is 1.7 trillion US dollars in a fucking PayPal account. You will not believe it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just go at it. This is the million mark. This is the billion. That's the trillion. Now, as far as the highest net worth individuals that exist out there, they don't have anywhere close to one trillion, 1.7 fucking trillion dollars, okay? Not even 700 billion. And we're just supposed to believe it. But at least Microsoft Corporation is on that billing date. I'm glad that they are. You know, they're, they got that pre-authorized checking, uh, which means if you ever want to buy that Xbox Live Gold currency, I mean, you have 1.7 fucking trillion to deal with. Ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> it's always fun when you go onto Twitter. This is where like the real degeneracy begins. You have all these, uh, you have all these Twitter accounts where it's like Human ATM, Cash Pick, Findom, Mega, Me Mega, 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 Findom, Megadis. God damn, what is the English language anyways, huh? Findom goddess, fin sub, ooh. <laughs> but you know what? I'm not here to necessarily kink shame. What the fuck? Yes, of course I am, okay? If you're too weak enough, you're too weak-willed, don't just give your money away like that, okay? God damn it, okay? Buy, buy, buy yourself a jawbreaker or a lollipop or something, okay? Treat yourself nice. Don't just toss your money away because you're, you don't have enough self-esteem going about it. God damn, that's pathetic. But ladies and gentlemen, that was Cash App Friday, the magical world of completely real stuff because when you're on the internet, you can't lie at all, can you? I mean, it's completely legal. The internet police might bust you. But ladies and gentlemen, that was just one expose into the magical world of Twitter Fridays. I hope your Friday is as blessed as everyone else's. And somehow if you come across 1.7 trillion US dollars worth of money in a PayPal account, well, you know what? Congratulations to you. But I'm going to be willing to bet my huervos on that, that that won't exactly happen, okay? I'm just going to be real about that. But ladies and gentlemen, the world constantly uh, ceases to astound me. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. This is me, Mudahar, and I am out.